Mm. Oh god, we got one. That was a lucky cast. <laughs> no, we got us a nice little mud chicken. <laughs> I don't know what's up with like my first casts. Perfect hook set just like that right there. Oh, there's a big blow up in there. I'm gonna get on the platform and see. No, I saw exactly where it was. It okay, all right. Forest, uh... I'll push you in there. Here we go. Just stay seated, okay? Don't stand up. More, more that way. Yep, right over there. That's where I saw his wake. Oh my God, Mark, what are you doing, buddy? I'm over here paying attention to you. And they're back here. Uh oh, see that wake? Come right in front of you. Dude, okay, so. I gotta wash this paddle off. I'm just gonna let it blow us into the grass and then we'll just keep our eye open, but. Uh, you just, yeah, you use your rod tip to, to slowly lay it down. Got him. Oh, here. All right. Got him. You know, it could be flounder that we're seeing blow up. Got a good hook set too, right on his brain. I hate when they, the flounder are the little sneakiest little bites. I swear the to skelly God. swim gets it done. Here, get the, uh, the gripper so we can put him inside the water. Okay. Um, okay, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> you see the shrimp going airborne? Yeah. Right there, perfect. Okay. Couple of twitches. <laughs> oh, we are recording too. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Okay, no more reeling in. Just high stick. High stick them to you. There you go. Oh. <laughs> this dude gave himself up too. Look at that, two in a row on the skelly. Nice. Not definitely not a donkey, but. No, he's, a, he's about he's 19. A rooster, that's what I would call it right there. Yeah, rooster. He's about 19 right there. <laughs> that is a great catch. Let me see the skelly, see how he's holding up. <laughs> Got a nice little scale right there god this this is such a strong lure oh well let's is get this ready here? i don't know we'll i'll get on the platform and continue looking he i mean once the lure just hit he heard and bloop. i just kind of ruined all of that let me uh push us out of here and we'll uh, go try to find another spot that's similar to this and i have an idea where to go to but um right down there where I got my second bite. Oh. No, uh. grass. <laughs> oh wait, no, no, no you got one. I thought it was grass. It's gotta be. These might be big. They won't come up. Come up, buddy. Oh my god, that is a big one, son. He's fighting. Is this a flounder? Or yeah, no, just bring him back this way. It's a flounder. Oh my god. He's like nice and. Oh, oh it's a god. big old huge stingray. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You turd. He doesn't want to freak. Yeah. It's alright, bud. All righty, hold on, player. <laughs> All right, take it. Oh my gosh, fooled us both. 
I thought it was a massive one, but I was like, wait a minute, that's too round of a flounder. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at it, it didn't even have the colors of a flounder. <laughs> oh, that turd. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. We, I think we're gonna have a great day. I mean, judging on how it started, being able to sight cast, two fish straight in a row. We've got our eyes open trying to see if uh, we're going to be able to spot any more blow-ups I'm about to get on the platform. I just want to say thank you so much for deciding to click on the video. I hope you're going to enjoy. Let's get at it. So like w what I'm doing right now is nothing different than what I would be doing in the kayak. Mm -hmm. Getting super skinny, getting into these little back ponds, going from one like through one ditch to another to get to some more back ponds. And you cannot do that in a full-size skiff at all. Like, I don't care who you are. I, I mean, maybe if you were like a swamp rat or something like that, then you can probably push your big old huge skiff through there. But I just don't see it happening. Now, they could. there's no doubt you could make it through with the outboard, like on plane, because then you can get really skinny but trying to maneuver through ditches like no it's not happening when you're going that fast i probably need to just push polis in this instead of spooking everything let's just kill it don't want to spook everything on the way through here once we get to the end of this that's it we're done so hopefully we're going to see something uh oh! Oh please! <laughs> I didn't get a freaking hook set good on him. It's Got okay. Oh, we got him. Look at that beautiful blue tail, son! Oh my gosh! Time to turn around. Yeah, I'm just letting the wind kind of blow us because we're in a perfect spot to to turn around. Ha <laughs> ha! just the right size to to be able to turn around like with each new trip that we take we get to test its capabilities and new situations and stuff and today it was about seeing the the marsh bottom the water's clear we're in probably i would estimate it was about up ahead was probably eight inches maybe could have been a little bit deeper, I'm not too sure, but it's pretty good though. Okay. Alrighty, we got her drying out. Had to lift up the hatches whenever I was trying to wash out all that marsh mud uh, some of the water from the gun went inside there so that is no bueno so we got her drying out cleaned off everything is uh, good to go ready for the next trip refueled and uh, I am thoroughly impressed with how skinny she's able to get uh, going into a lot of them narrow ditches that lead to the back ponds was something that I really needed to find out if she was going to be capable of and yeah uh, the the draft I want to say is going to be about three to six inches um, the water that we were in today I'm gonna estimate at being eight inches deep and it was perfect uh, we were able to push pull or me push pull from the back of the skiff and uh, just acted like a kayak all together but boy is she super fast 23 miles an hour for myself and my son is what i clocked her at whenever we were on our way back to the ramp and uh, i'm gonna see how much faster she can go when it's just myself so uh, thank you all so much for tagging along on today's adventure i really appreciate it for those of y'all that are interested in the gear that I use, that's linked in the description down below. Check it out. If you do make a purchase, it helps to support the channel, so just know that. And uh, I think that is gonna do it. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.